Okay, um, zip line, that's a great question. So the zip line was a little stretch goal add-on at the end of something I was messing around with personally, and I just like, this is too cool, we need to show it off because it's a really neat PC kit. People that, I think every backer got this actually. So what you end up with is a zip line and it'll be in a little bag and it'll look like this. And I put it together in this bag this way to kind of give you a hint as to how to use it. So I'm gonna open this piece up and get it all untangled here. So we have this connector stanchion piece here. We have the standing area on the bottom. And all I'm gonna do right now is you're gonna take this and you're gonna line it up. That is your zip line stage. I guess you can call it your, what is it? Uh, what do you call it? The carriage, I guess. Or? Carriage or gondola, maybe? Yeah, I don't works. know. But this is a cool fit. Now there is some engineering to it. So notice you have this hinge right here. Again, that hinge is the same diameter as every other thing that we do that needs a hole through it because you never know what you're going to put an eighth inch rod through. When I assembled this, I put a eighth inch standard dowel that I got at Lowe's on the inside. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to show people how this lines up. It's a pinch fit. And that pinch fit connects the bottom cam right here to these two cams. And I say the bottom because this is the bottom. The two go on the top, that goes on the bottom. If you try to pry this apart and say, oh, I'm just gonna jam that thing in there. If, if you do it really aggressively too many times, there is a chance you can end up breaking it. So be gentle with it. But the way you assemble this, is you just take the rod and you stick it right on top of this and this right it between the other one. And so those two press down and then the third one, so you're almost getting it caught between three pins. And that makes a surface now Notice that's not sliding. You can slide it down, you can slide it up and go through there. Now, you have this section over the top here that you can hang things from. Now, I, we, I, had, I had this pushed together this way to show you how to fit. It's not glued or anything, it's just pinch fit. So take it, pop it apart, and now you got a pin. Take that pin, and this is important too. Um, this is wrong. You want the majority of the weight to be underneath the center line. So you put this this direction, and now you can take this clip, this little pinch, and you put it on the inside, and that puts it on the inside, and put it up just a little bit. And that gives you something that can now spin freely. Now, Notice the angle, it still hangs down there. If this feels a little tight to you on the inside and it's not, this one feels like it's grabbing slightly, you can take this rod and just run it through the hole and that will open it up a little bit. But the more you play with it, it will loosen up a little bit and be fine. If you start messing around with this thing and for whatever reason, after putting this in and out 10 times, it doesn't want to stay in super tight anymore, I highly recommend just taking a little drop of super glue and permanently gluing this cap to the end of the rod. Don't glue the cap to this, just grab this to the end of that pin and then you have this element. So I have this sitting here now and what I like to do, and actually I do want to talk about this a little bit. Um, there was no rod or zip line to hang it on. This is what you need in order to put some sort of a zip line onto the table. I recommend either getting a dowel, so you go down to Lowe's and buy an eighth inch dowel. And you can either use a eighth inch dowel or you can use um, anything that's an eighth inch works good. So I've seen um, plastic rod that's an eighth inch. I've seen neon rod that you can get. Um, back in my, the old days, I used to do Necrons for GW. I'd take that eighth inch glow rod they used to have and I would sit there and do that with things, but that's the right diameter. So an eighth inch is what you're looking for. So this here is a dowel that I got from Lowe's. 
This here is that same dowel and I masterfully painted this with a Sharpie. And um, <laughs> so that's what we did here. I'm gonna show you this one first. The other thing I like to do is I like to take welding rod. This is something I got um, from Harbor Freight. It comes in a tube and it's hard to tell right now, but this thing is, I believe it's three feet long. And this is also the same diameter. The trick to this is just the same diameter. You got the same diameter, it's gonna work. And three mil, if you find a three mil rod, if you're overseas and doing stuff, um, that might be a little loose, but it still works. So um, you decide what works best for you. Um, I'm gonna lay this rod down here and I'm gonna do the easiest method of hanging this. And then I'm gonna show you how you can do some hacks with the clips to do other things that maybe you didn't think about when you were doing it. Okay, so let's pretend I want to run a zip line between, let's see, I'm going to grab this big piece of building over here and just move it over in this direction, get my arm out of the way. Forgive the shoddy camera work here. But well, it's not my camera work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get the idea, you yeah, know, the, the shoddy staging of things here. So what you're, what you're attempting to do is get a rod and you're trying to connect it between two different places. Now. If I had the rod and I wanted to span this point perfectly, I would cut it a little bit shorter and make sure it works. And then how do I connect this rod to the piece? My next question. So there's lots of different ways to do that. You can take the yes clips. So we're gonna talk about our clips that are out there and make use of them. So the first one I'm gonna grab is I'm gonna grab a pair of Y clips. And notice I can take a Y clip and simply stick that on top of a dowel. So notice you've got a piece here, so I can take that and stick it right on top of here. Now it's sticking out this other direction and I'm gonna take this over here, stick it on the top. It doesn't really matter where it goes. And then that could be snapped into this position here. And now you've got your zip line that spans that area. Should you put the zip line carriage on before attaching it? Yeah, it's probably best because I did say you don't want to bend it when you put the thing on. So what I would do here is just pull out the one we had before. Take this, slide it on the inside. And now notice it just kind of hangs there. So I'm gonna drop this right here. And then I'm gonna slide this over here. And now that kind of hangs this direction. And I'm gonna take the beast figure and I'm gonna put him on the stage. And now you've got somebody suspended off the ground. Now granted, that's not too far, but if you have two eight story buildings sticking up in the air, it looks pretty impressive. Um, what I like to do is I think it looks way more impressive to do a really big span across the table. So I'm going to go ahead and I have happen to have another one sitting here on the side. So I'm going to take this giant three foot rod that we have and I'm going to connect it to the two bigger buildings over here. And we're going to go ahead and again, snake it through that port. And once it's snaked through the port, now you've got a zip line that can be as long as you want. You could also take this and put it on a really tall building and run it to the ground. And I, I really like that look. Is that still on frame? Yep. I really like how that looks because then you can have guys, you know, going from really tall buildings and zipping down to the floor and doing different stuff. And notice I can angle this off and do whatever you kind of want to do with it on the inside. Um, the way to connect these to the top of the buildings, you can do the same sort of thing that we did before where you take your clips and you put your rod on the inside. Um, the other thing you can do is, and I do this all the time, um, I take a short piece of eighth inch rod, like you could even take something like this. I would recommend kind of making it about an inch long. You can also get the um, steel dowel pins that are eighth inch steel dowel pins. You can get them on Amazon and other places. Um, they're really good for sticking in like the small holes in these connectors and 
the building stack points are great contact points to do other things. And then if you have a pin coming out of the top of the building and you take a rod like this and stick it here, you can now take the end of this, stick it between the rod, and that is more than enough pinch point to keep that from coming out. And now you can angle that. So now that holds here, and now that holds here. And people are like, all right, I sort of understand what you're saying, but why don't you show me? So um, Dan, why don't you go ahead and the camera you had there, go ahead and move it live while we're going and we'll, we'll, we'll go live. going live and we're gonna move this around. So I'm gonna take this pinch and notice up here on the top, I got one of the security cameras kind of stuck to the top. And all I did here is I took, I took a little bitty metal dowel rod, stuck it on the inside eighth inch and made a connection point. So I'm going to take this, stick it like that. And now we got a connector. And now I'm gonna spin this around. And for now, I'm just gonna set it up there because we can. And I'm gonna walk behind here, come over to this section. And now we got the section over here. Now here, I could take an E-clip and I could put an E-clip into here. That way you would have a connection coming this way and a connection coming that way. I also wanted to do this just to kind of show you. So this happens to be a Y and an S clip. You can connect clips together to make them do things. And the reason I like this setup is I can take this and put it there, spin it. Now I've got my angle to take the rod here and I'm gonna go ahead. These welding rods always have kind of a crimped area. Um, you don't need it's kind of a pain to deal with the crimp, but I'm just gonna spin it right there. But then that lets you, and get my crimp, there we go. And now we've got a situation where I was able to connect this piece up here and I can take the beast model. And now it's way more impressive having him up here, up in the side. And then if you wanna move them, I highly suggest holding your finger when you do this and then just put it where you want it. So let's say he's got, you know, in Cyberpunk, he's got a green move. You know, take your ruler out, measure your 12 inches. Awesome. He moves 12, or maybe the rule for the zip line is it moves two feet at turn. So rather than someone rubbing, <laughs> let's rephrase that. Rather than someone running a 12 inch distance, maybe he can get on a zip line and move twice the distance as he's going across. But that is how the zip line works. And whether this is a dowel, whatever eighth inch rod you use, it will, it works great. And then if I didn't want it up here and I wanted to take it down to the ground, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out and just show you based on what we did at the top before. Model didn't even move. And he just sits at the top and now he can get height and slide down and do all kinds of stuff. So I think that's a really cool addition to the system. And it's just, it's very gamey and very toyetic. And I think people should have fun with it. Okay.